This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her. S.G. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. Chloe Bryce presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular. Even Hayden seems super into this play. What is happening? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Uh, all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great, uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least exciting. Drama teachers always seem so... <sighs> dramatic. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Ah, uh, the birds. The girl. The desire to be free. Ah, <sighs> how romantic. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love exists? <laughs> sure, I think so. But it's a lot weirder and scarier than poets and pop songs make it out to be. <laughs> you might be surprised, my dear. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. <laughs> Board. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is weird. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug? After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Looks like Victoria has finally Did pushed Dana Doug over the David's edge. Garden or hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did David Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug? Boys changing tent. Thanks. But no thanks. That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. No. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. And the football team will just bully me more. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But Dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Nathan. 
fuck! Hey, Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> that was a joke. I... no. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? Okay, but he won't like it. I'd want you to go away and stop bothering me. Chloe! Nathan and I aren't lovable rebels in some terrible 80s movie. We're messed up. You shouldn't be trying to help him because you can't and you'll just end up hurt. Do you really think that's true? Yeah, I do. That's really sad. Good luck with that savior complex, Samantha. <laughs> bitter much? I don't get bitter. I get even. Wonder which bachelor contestant Victoria stole that line from. See? Another reason to be thankful for my, uh, recent life change. Drew seems to be the captain of every Blackwell sport. Man, I hope he's in sports, just looks so uh, exhausting. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David? No way in hell I'm going up on that stage. Rachel? Oh, come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Yeah, I guess. I mean, even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. 
And even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real. You're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase. You know? Even if you suck. Ah, oh my god. Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. Uh, okay. Cool. Tea? For your instrument. We want you at your best tonight. Okay, V. Time to shine. Oh, Price, that was epic. You distracted her just long enough for me to slip those pills into her tea. I did. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. A shirt for a free spirit. I knew you were going to pick that one. You can read me like a script, Rachel Amber. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before the- Swing party! We're ruined! The show is ruined! That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Ah! Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. <sighs> Damn it. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. Seriously, have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel.
Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? <laughs> it wouldn't be called a makeup mirror if it wasn't supposed to have makeup all over it. <laughs> when life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Got it. No, I am not just being dramatic. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. <sighs> Looks like I'm late, as usual. By accident, most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. You. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. Hey, I sat here yesterday. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. Ugh, that killed my eyes. I want to play her part. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit. Hast thou performed to point the tempest? That I bade thee? Yea, I have pointed thy <laughs> tempest. And, uh, forsooth, it was the pointiest tempest I ev ever pointed. The pointiest? Then I'm well assured. The king's own ship lies pierced upon this storm. Well done. Who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason? Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried... Cried... <clears throat> Hell is empty, and all the devils are here! Yes! But are they, Ariel? Safe? Alright, I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle. In? Troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand?
My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? <laughs> but thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement ages quickly. And I fear if we set out in search of new, uh, fun, you'll tire of me. And, uh, then I'll be alone. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending... absolutely transformative. I am... humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just the happened? Of your Was story, that real? Heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love. To look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! Uh, mm. as wicked do as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself. Filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit, 
of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you? His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands, with the help of your good hands. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. 